Drink malt liquor. Only malt liquor. Reviewing Asian hoodies and some bullshit craft beer. I was wondering. I was wondering where these got to, uh, and then I was wondering where the actual glasses got to. Like these are. This is an old prescription. It's not the same thing. I gotta find those glasses. One minute I'm walking around my house. Next minute, my glasses are not on my face, and I don't know what happened to them. Malt liquor. All right. First of all, addressing Steel Worldwide. I didn't know. I didn't know craft beer was that expensive. Here's how I know about craft beer. I walk through the store and I see these expensive bottles on the shelf. And I think, Jesus, that's expensive. And then I have those numbers in my mind and I see some craft beer cunt with his refrigerator full of craft beer and I think to myself, $200. Now, uh, well, I just had like a 50 cent burrito. 50 cent burritos, folks. Does, you, does your gas station cook burritos? Find out if they do. Um, so I figure going to the brewery, it's made right there. I could see gigantic tanks that I assume are full of craft beer. And I figure all I have to do is like scoop out like a pint and hand it to me. And like, how much, is it, how much does that cost them? Evidently it must cost them a goddamn fortune because that was like way too much money for beer coming out of a keg. Good lord. Good god. Malt liquor. I haven't given up hope though. I was like, it seems to me like I googled like, that's how I found out about the growler film. The five dollar one. Cause that's good man. Five bucks for a growler. Um, that's a good deal. So I think I googled like growler refills, good deals, and that came up. So I'm going to try that again. I'm not going to just walk right into like happy hour all day and get shafted like I did going to the, uh, the BTU. Yeah, that was what it was called. The BTU. They serve Chinese food, though. That was kind of cool. It's just really expensive. Uh, what else? Uh, Wits Blitz, uh, and uh, I guess some people are like calling her out to take her top off, which she would probably do, actually. Um, and I'll tell you why. And I'll also tell you a little bit about what I find attractive in the opposite sex. Now, I'm not objectifying Wits Blitz in any way, but Wits Blitz, if you're watching this, I'm attracted to you. Take that as you will, but let me explain. <laughs> I'm attracted to crazy. The crazier the woman, the more attracted I am. And so, uh, yeah, so Wits is, uh, as, uh, on, the, on, the, on the hot scale, like as, as far as like, you know, hot like the sun, uh, wet like the ocean, you know, that kind of crazy. So, yeah, everyone could like, you know, ask to see her take her top off and stuff like that. And, chances are like she's just gonna like go to every single one of us and uh, inbox us on that Facebook. Facebook used to be Doc Savage, Man of Bronze, till some jackass turned me into uh, to Facebook. I think I know who that jackass is too. Anyway Wits, don't let them sexualize you man. That's what they try to do to me all the time. And also you know my Facebook page. Go ahead and inbox me any pictures you want. It doesn't have to be about your breasts. I'm into photography. <clears throat> what else? Malt liquor hell has got to be pretty cool. I mean, machetes there and jacks there. That's got to be pretty cool. I'm not saying hi to Dorf. <clears throat> if I see Dorf, I'll like, hey Dorf, why don't you meet me out on Hell's Golf Course? I'll be out there in 10 minutes. I may be late and then I'm not going. I'll golf later that week. Anything else? I pre actually, I appreciate being on Steel Rides TV. Thanks, Trent. It's been nice to be on your TV. It's been a long time since we interacted. It's too bad it had to be as I was on my way to Malt Liquor Hell. But I guess you like, you'd, be, you'd have to take a moment, A, take a moment of responsibility because you're the one that got me started down this path. And uh, 
why didn't you why didn't you take a better job looking out for me what we I think you are the one that got distracted Trent you you took your eyes off the ball you left me to entertain myself I was bound to end up uh, trying some craft beer and thinking that hey people they were obviously wrong about this if people if people would say hey I know craft beer is delicious but uh, you got to be some sort of goddamn fool to throw away half your paycheck on an evening out Mulligan. All right, speaking of half my paycheck, uh, I saw this, uh, there's a company, I believe it's in Minnesota, um, Scamp Trailers. Um, they, they sell fiberglass shell RVs, the trailer kind, basically the egg campers. I'm thinking about saving up and getting me one. Like they run like $13,000, $15,000. They'll deliver it for like less than two thousand. It's like one thousand eight hundred something. Uh, that sounds pretty great. I'd like to. Uh, the, the thing about like my Oz and Oz, like a lot of times, like start the camera. It's like I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna say. And like I'm kind of like working my thoughts out. It's probably why. I mean, that's the whole reason why I started recording myself, but. Like I think a 13-foot trailer, bathroom, shower, uh, bed, kitchen, that's all there is. Like you walk in, you can touch the shower and the bathroom and you can reach over and touch the bed. It turns into a 9 app, but it'll probably just end up being a bed round the clock. And if I'm pulling with my van and stuff like that, I could have all, all, all my gear in my van. So that's what I've been thinking about. I'm thinking about uh, camping, retirement, and vacations, and getting the most out of my time. Mm. Anything else? Nothing else. Once again, I think I got five hours sleep last night. So once again, I'm like dull haze. I got. I'm in a dull haze. <sighs> anyway, Mulliker. Black Metal Troy, rest in peace, bro. I'm so sorry we fought. I didn't even get a chance to know you.